is Matt Hansen. I'm from uh, Orange County, California, and uh, we're here at Peaceful Warrior Fitness. So uh, I recently, about four and a half months ago, was 305 pounds and uh, went through some rocky time, personally, relationship-wise, uh, kind of a situation where you kind of take inventory. And uh, you know, I looked in the mirror and I didn't recognize myself. I couldn't figure out how I got there. And I think the more important question was, how the hell am I gonna dig myself out of this hole that I'm in? It had been probably 10 years since I worked out. I'd been fit before and worked out, but it was like much different, the kind of stuff I was doing. And I, I hated it. Part of the reason why I got heavy in the first place is first of all, I knew how much work it takes. And so getting off the couch when you know what's in front of you is sometimes more daunting than not knowing. So I kind of came in and talked to Nick and Nick said, dude, we'll just put you on a program that's more variety and uh, just get you going and moving. I remember after the first month, I was still like, you know, I had like a 46 inch waist. I was huge, 48 inch waist. So it was like losing 30 pounds. Although I started to sleep better and some of my health problems went away, it wasn't very encouraging. It was like, and even then I'm still like, I'm never gonna be thin. I just lost 33 pounds and I'm still a mess, right? My self-esteem was low. I remember apologizing to Nick all the time when I couldn't finish something or, or when I didn't do it as well as I thought. And he's like, you gotta stop apologizing, dude. Because you're just in the mindset of you can't do it, right? When you're that heavy, there's a lot of things you can't do. And so coming in here and achieving is like not even really an option. kinds of fears of, is it gonna be worth it you know it's like what if it takes a year and I'm not happy with the way I look or what if I can't do it what if I'm too old what if my metabolism slowed down instead of just getting and doing it and seeing where the chips fall I think a lot of people at least me worry here's the biggest thing when I came in here I, was, I wasn't super self-conscious as far as like worried about people laughing at me but I certainly wasn't thrilled about coming in here Almost from the get-go, people who are super fit, who are not patronizing me, who are not condescending, encouraged me like two weeks in saying, you're doing a really great job, like you inspire me to work out harder. I had somebody anonymously buy me a, a training session. I've had somebody buy me a t-shirt because I lost 100 pounds. People come up to you all the time and say, hey, you look great, you've lost a lot of weight. Even now, I'm not used to being thin. I can't really take a look back and say, oh, I've accomplished something because I still have goals that I want to set, I want to maintain, and I'm just at the beginning stages of kind of changing the way my life. If I dedicate myself, if I put my mind to it, I can change my life in months. You can change your life in the shortest period of time, and your brain can't fathom that because you've been doing something the same way for eight years. The ability to just change in a couple months, three, four months, it doesn't seem possible. I couldn't comprehend that four and a half months later, I'd be sitting here down 105 pounds. 